Hello, hello, family. Hello, beautiful people. You're welcome back to Mommy Speak Who is Channel. Thank you for being here and Happy New Year to you. Oh, how was the holiday? I hope you had fun. Thank you, thank you for coming back. For coming back without you, there is no Mommy P. Thank you so much for all my returning subscribers, for those that will be joining the family. Thank you. This year will be a wonderful and fruitful year for we all in the name of Jesus. God will cause his face to shine upon us. Everything we lay our hands to do will prosper in the name of Jesus. Okay, let's get in today's video. I will be showing you how I make my coconut fried rice let's get started let's go if you want to know how i make this amazing dish keep keep watching <laughs> keep watching if you want to know how it was done just keep watching okay Okay, today I am making a very special recipe for the new year. <laughs> we are going to be making our coconut fried rice in a different and special way. What we'll be needing for this ingredient, the ingredient for this recipe. Here is our goat meat washed already. Here is our gizzard washed already. Here is our turkey. Here is our carrot. Our green beans, our granite oil, our coconut milk, our shrimps, my spices, this is thyme, curry, rosemary, and I have another rosemary, the powder. I'll be using that to spice our meat. Here is our maggi cube. <laughs> so before we get started, I will just introduce few of the ingredients <clears throat> as we all know carrot is good for weight loss and also low in cholesterol with vitamin k1 it also improves our eye okay for our streams streams is low in calories rich in nutrients iron and zinc and for our green beans Green beans are high in vitamin K. They also contain a decent amount of calcium, nutrients, and if they are they are also important for maintaining strong head bones and reduce your risk of fractures. Yes, why for our rice? Rice helps you to regulate your digestive system. Rice is also rich in fiber and also helps eliminate water from the body. So with that, with all that being said, let me spice the meat. First, I'll add our thyme. My powder, rosemary. I already put my mugging cube, okay, and onions, and then I'll add the other one, the seed one. There is just this special, special flavor and aroma. This is my curry powder. Yes, after spicing it, I'm not adding any water. I will let the goat bring its own water, so it's very nice. So I will just close it I, on the, my cooking gas already. While this um, gizzard, I will do the same. I will add water. I spiced it already. I will just cover it and let it start cooking. So after boiling for some time, do you see the water there? So I will just add a bit of water. To eat just like this it's okay not all just small then I'll add my turkey inside so they can all cook together
So let's see how our gizzard is going. You see, I did not add any water. I'm just here to stay it up. Let's look at water gushing out. So cover it, let it cook. Okay, let's see how our meat is doing. Mm, look at this. Cats. I have to saw me to see. Yeah, let's see our gizzard. Voila. It's ready. Cut it. I have to take it out to put it on a strainer before I will slide it. Let's see what. So I will just gently take out the turkey. It's ready. So I'll cover the goat, I will let the goat stick up for about 10 minutes. I just put the turkey on the strainer before I put it in the oven and not frying them. So the goat is ready. Let me just take it out and put it on the strainer before I put them in the oven. Yes, in here I have my hot water. And so I'll pour my granite oil here now to fry the ingredients. So this is the granite oil. I'll let it just preheat it before I'll start frying the, the carrots and the green beans. Yes, the oil is hot now. I will just pour the carrots. I'm not using the whole carrot. Immediately, I'll pour our, our green beans. Leave it to fry for about five minutes. Then, before leaving it to fry for five minutes, I will just add my shrimps. My shrimps. Then later I will put the gizzard. Just take a look at the colors. Wow! So we'll be adding our gizzard. We make everything fry together. Let it, I will say it. I will let it fry together. Mm. Oh my God, the aroma is something else. So I'll be adding a bit of a curry powder. I've just added it. Just like this, it's all right. So we'll let it fry. Yes, I'll add just this one more cube to our carrot thing. Yeah, our water is well boiled. We have to put the rice for it to part cook, part boiled before we wash it. So we we'll just leave it for like two to three minutes. Pour it on the strainer. Yes, I will take our rice out now. Take our rice and go and wash it. Just turn it on the strainer. While our veggies, I will just take it out so it don't look too soggy. It's ready. I'll take it. I'll put it on the strainer. So I will just reduce the oil after taking the veggies out. I will reduce the oil. This is the oil I left, and I'll add just this butter. I see the oil is very small. We we'll just put this cooking butter. Just a tablespoon is enough. Look at the remaining oil. Oh, yeah, we need them here. We don't need them again. We we'll let it melt. So we are going to pour our rice. We are going to fry it. If you have not tried this method, please do. You love it. You love it, and your family will appreciate. We we'll just put them like this. I will stir it. Make sure your gas is on the medium heat. We'll let the rice, we are not adding nothing to the rice. Just let it be. When it's golden brown, we cannot 
add some ingredients to it. So we just stir it like this, add a pinch of salt and let it fry. So now I will add my chopped onion. My hands are almost washed. I will stir it. You see the color? Don't add curry to it. Just let it give you that golden brown. Just look at the color. It's already golden brown. So I will just add my coconut milk. I'm not using everything. I think that quantity is enough. I will stay. Please, you constantly stir the rice. Eh? Don't leave it and go. Make sure your gas is on the medium heat so it don't burn. So what I will do now, I will take out from the rice because the veggies can go inside like this because the rice is quite much. So I will take out some of the rice. So I will put my garbage inside. I have just a slice of it. I will just add a bit. So I will stir. This garbage is optional. Okay, it's not compulsory, it's optional. I just like to have the taste of it. So I'll be putting our veggies straight away. Look at it. Mm, beautiful and yummy. So I will just okay, sorry. I will stir it after adding the veggies. I will just stir it. I'm sorry, the video is a bit long than expected. I will just stir it like this together. Make sure you put your your gas on the medium. It's okay. Not high, so it, the rice don't get burnt. Yeah, here is that our meat stock. I will just add a bit don't forget it's two pots we have now so i will just share them i will stay so i will take aluminium paper now to cover the rice make sure you reduce the heat of your of your gas at this point, put it on a low, low, low. So you can just use this for paper to cook. Yes, our rice is, oh my God. It's yummy ready. I'll serve it now to show you what it looks like. Yes, this is what it looks like. Mm, so yummy. This is our goat meat and turkey. And this is my pepper I make. Aside to eat the food. Wow, I would like to end this video here. Thank you so much for watching till the end. Thank you. I love you all so much. Thank you for your amazing comments. Like, please share this video with friends and family. And if today is your first time of coming across this YouTube channel, please, please, please don't forget to subscribe on your notification bell. So you know anytime I upload new videos, you can share with your family and friends. You will love it here. In here, we make amazing content. We cook local and international dishes. And I bring sometimes the word of God to you. Thank you so much. I love you all. Till I come your way next time. Bye. And happy new year to you all. I love you all. Bye.